my name is Glossy and welcome to this week's episode of the Path to the Well series. Before we move on any further, let me tell you what this series is all about. The Path to the Well is the series where we hear life stories of people who found hope and strength to overcome the challenges that they face in life. And we hope that their stories inspires you to make a difference in your life too. Last week, Ruben shared with us about how he overcame the difficulties and storms in his life. The person that we'll be hearing from today is someone who went through the challenge of stepping out of his comfort zone to do what God has placed in his heart to do. Here's Taryn's story. Hey guys, uh, my name is Terence. Uh, currently, together with my uh, family, we have two young children. We are based in uh, Sabah, Malaysia. Um, prior to Sabah, we lived in uh, Cambodia um, for about two years, and also, uh, so originally, uh, we are from uh, my wife and I. We are from Kuala Lumpur, the capital city of Malaysia. Um, the reason we are in Sabah is uh, that we w- is to work with. Uh, underprivileged, um, in particular the rural natives who are from the villages or known as the kampongs and um, what we do is we help them uh, through education and through a mentoring process uh, to hopefully develop them um, to uh, further their studies and eventually uh, find um, employment to then um, give back to the community. Uh, we work with uh, students, um, whether is it secondary school or campus students who have the desire to uh, learn, to study and to um, in, in some sense uh, grow in also their, in their education and their, in their academic. Um, the essence of this video is uh, maybe perhaps to tell you uh, not what I do, but uh, why, why I do this and why we do what we do. Um, many friends and uh, family have uh, asked us this question, why do you do such a thing? I mean, uh, we lived a very comfortable life back in the city and uh, we have um, quite a good job. And back in 2014, we um, sort of uh, let go some of this uh, comfort and uh, we lived among the the poor in the countryside, something really beyond um, our comfort zone. So therein lies the question why we do what we do. Um, I think firstly, uh, I do what I do is because of the love of God that compels me. Um, So I'm a Christian and I believe in, um, in Jesus and through Jesus' life and death and resurrection uh, I have realized that for someone to die for me um, it took tremendous sacrifice and the question that I constantly ask myself is uh, what is my sacrifice? what is my worship towards my God? And uh, as I was struggling with this question back in 2012, 2013, uh, I felt very strongly, together with my wife and my little boy, eight months old, um, we felt that we needed to uh, come out of uh, our comfort zone and look beyond our horizon. Uh, I always say this, um, life is really all about perspective. It is the lens that you put on. that would uh, help you to grow, help you to learn, help you to expand. And if you put on a lens that is uh, blurred or biased, um, you know, you will tend to be negative, you will tend to uh, put people down, you will tend to uh, have remarks that really do not build others. So the main reason that the main reason why I do what I do is because of the love of God that compels me to do so. And the second reason that I would like to share is also about purpose. Um, I 
do what I do strongly is because strongly of a sense of purpose that I want to live my life. Uh, you see, friends, life is short, literally. Uh, it's impossible for you and I to dictate the length of time we're going to live. Uh, some of us may have a really long life. Uh, some of us may not. Um, some of us uh, on our deathbed, uh, we may regret what we do. Some of us may say, I lived a completely fulfilled life. Uh, and I want to say that. I, I, I really truly want to say that should I pass on the earth, as morbid as it sounds, I want to say that, hey, um, I've lived a life that has been purposeful. I have lived a life that has contributed to someone else's. And that's really the richness of it, you know, friends. It's not really not about, um, you know, the material things that you have. I mean, it's great to live in a very comfortable house or a good car. Uh, neither is it uh, 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 right to think that you need to live poorly, um, you know, drive a beaten up car or, you know, uh, eat really uh, basic food. That's not what I mean. Uh, what I mean is... Are you contented with your life? Are you fulfilled with what you have? And if you are, what are you doing to live purposefully and contributing back? N not necessarily to a community at large. Sometimes it sounds such a, a big thing, contributing back to my community. But really contributing back to somebody, to someone to your family and um, that is what has um, and that is why I do what I do two things one the love of God that compels me to do so and secondly um, because I want to live a life that is purposeful, purposeful and rich I hope this message really uh, bless you um, thank you for listening Thank you, Terence, for sharing your story with us on living a purposeful life. Knowing why we do what we do helps us to have a sense of purpose to live our life to the fullest and to also contribute in investing in the lives of others. Before we end the video, here's something for you to think about. What is one thing that you can change in your life to ensure that you are living purposefully? Take a moment to think about that and do join us back here next week for the next episode of the Path to the Well series. Thanks for watching. Bye!